Alright. Let me just get my chrome up. Oh, that uh, didn't work. Alright, we have a comment from uh, X Fallen Star Z, and he says, Hey, do, do you know how to solve slow internet for Windows 7? My other computer goes 7 megabytes per second, and my laptop, when I switched to Windows 7, the internet went to like 50 kilobytes per second. LOL. Dot dot dot. Wow, that's really slow. 50 kilobytes per second. Alright. Well, that's major repairs we need. So let's start doing this. So first, let's go to start. Type in CMD. That's it. Alright, now right click on the CMD and open as administrator. Yes, people, I said administrator. People keep hating me saying it's an administrator. I'm like, yes, I know. I just say ambassador because I feel like it's. Yeah, that's it. Alright, now in the in the after system thirty two type net oops net sh space win sock space reset. Now if you don't see win c slash windows slash system system thirty two, then you did it wrong. You don't want to see your username. You want to see c slash windows slash system thirty two um, greater than net ish windsock reset and then just press enter and then it will load let it load for a while and while we're doing that it's going to start let's go to all programs and now wait for it to load eventually when it loads I'm going to just pause alright now click on uh, accessories uh, okay accessories It'll just find my folder for some reason. Because they just can't find it, I guess. Okay. And now go to... Uh... Where is it? Oh, yes. System Tools. And now click on Disk Defragger. Disk Defragments. Right? This will come up. And then you can defrag your disk. While you're doing that, go to Start. Go to All Programs. Go to... Accessories, wherever it is again. Accessories. Now go to System Tools. And now, this time, click on Disk Cleanup. Alright, just let those both load. And I'm going to be back soon. Alright, now that the Winstock has reset, you see, successfully reset the Winstock catalog. You must restart the computer in order to complete the rest or complete the resets. Basically what this does, it repairs any holes in your internet connection. Anything that could cancel out the, the web page to make it load longer, it would repair. So basically resetting the whole internet connection, it's basically an advanced way of unplugging your router and replugging it back in. But anyways, like you, everybody who has Windows 7 or Windows Vista needs to do it. But anyways, now, we got the disk breaker, disk defragment, sir. So, I recommend going for your C drive, unless you're stuff in your D drive, which I don't have a D drive. And now, I'm now click dis defragment disk. Now you might, might want to do this like, I don't know, weekly, monthly. I recommend monthly because it takes a long time to, to uh, defrag. Alright. Now let's pretend this defragment, this defragment just completed. One, it's going to take a long time, so just, and you can't do anything, okay? You gotta, you gotta let it run while doing nothing. So I might as well get a good book, go watch your TV. But anyways, once this, now you're doing the, after you're done defraying, this should be loaded by then. Way long loaded. So, then you just run this. I'll tell you when Alright, there we go. Now, if you want the best performance, I recommend checking all of these. Check, 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 check. Now all these are is is old files that aren't being used, right? Let me explain what these are. Okay, so example, let me just get these all checked. Alright, for example, the downloaded program files, that is all your download records, all the recorded downloads you got, so basically if you're, uh, your computer's logging every download, temporary internet files, that's all your cookies. Well, that's not really the cookies, it's the temporary cookies. They, they record all the cookies you have as well. 
offline websites, oh, offline web pages. Everyone knows what offline web pages are. Useless. Recycle bin, and use recycle bin, of course. Setup log files, that's the logging of all your setup files, temporary files. I have no clue what that is. Probably logging all of your files. Thumbnails, that's the log of all your thumbnails. So basically, it's just cleaning up all your logs. And so click OK. So everything in the logs is going to be deleted. This will not prevent it from messing up your computer. All they will do is make is remove, we just remove useless programs. Alright. So while that loads, let's go to your web browser. And let's go to google.ca. Now, I may have to do this in two parts. This is a very long video. Oh, well, wait. I can do 15 minutes now thanks to YouTube. Thank you, YouTube! Well, yeah, I can do 15 minutes because of YouTube. They promoted me to 15 minutes of video, which I am very thankful for. Alright? And I just want to thank everyone who helped me out in getting this promotion. Because obviously, YouTube likes me. I just Google and type in Critical Memory Mechanic. Alright? And then go to uh, whichever link. I'm going to click this one. See if that's a good one. It's going to take a lot of browsing because there's a lot of websites that fail at. Downloads like you know, have to pay for it, or people are men rem member or advertisement, something like that. I don't know. Stupid surveys, a bunch of stupid stuff that we just don't want. But, anyways, I'm gonna pause. See, this is a scam. This is a scam right here. This is not what it looks like. This is not what it looks like. Do not get this. This is a scam. Alright. Alright, do that load. Alright, click the one, two, three, fourth link. Where is it fourth? No, it's fifth link down, right here. And then you get to this page. Click download critical memory. And then they locked up the rest because they it was too long of a title. But just download that. And uh after you download it, you should get something like this. Now you want to opt to not up in uh, whatever it says. And then you'll see your memory in use and memory available. Click next. No, I do this like often, so I get very good results. But I the highest I ever got was like seventeen percent. Usually I get only like three or four percent, maybe even two or one. The high the the average is under four. But uh depending on your your computer, you'll probably get higher numbers. Alright. But uh, I'm just gonna let it load. Alright. So, it's gonna keep going. And then you're gonna get to this part after all the green squares are filled up. Oh, 10%! What is wrong computer? Just going up today. Alright, well, this yellow means that stuff is the memory recovered. This is all the in use memory, that is just basically use as memory. This much has been covered, 10%. So then I click exit. And, you know, just do this a couple times because it, it doesn't clear everything. You keep do it again and just keep doing it. Alright? But I'm not doing that for you guys because I got a budget. I got a time limit of uh, 10 minutes. Now, last thing you do, go to Google and um, type in. All right, now go to Google and search up. Is it even, start, is it even recording? I don't even know if you. I don't think it is recording. How is it recording? All right, now go to advanced system care on Google and I click maybe the first link, let me see and it is let's see yes this link right here alright go to the first link in Google and you'll get to here just click free download download this now once you get this up alright if you can't find this advanced system care icon just go to the start menu and type in care, it'll come up, if you don't have anything else about that has care in it, but you should be right here, care for your computer, and anyways, new version, yes, I'll download later, okay, anyways, now, uh, just click on the first one, the very top one, maintain windows, and click scan, right, after you do that, go to defragments, uh, don't want that, go away, please, go to defragment system, and click scan, which is the one on the east side, or the right side, and then scan again. And that should do the trick. 
And if you have any questions, ask me. But that's a quick tip to help you run way faster. If you're still, still slow, tell me. I'll try looking into it more. But for now, please comment, rate, subscribe, upgrade, share, add me on Facebook. Um, what's else? Did I, uh, did I say favorites? Yeah, okay. We'll see ya. Bye.